Hello everyone, I am Vikram Aditya here and welcome to JS of Tech and JS of Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss a very few questions which are used, which have been asked in recent interviews uh, for those who have three plus or four plus years of experience. And uh, having said this, please remember that whatever questions that I am covering right now are common for all the modules. And I am going to make a couple of uh, sessions on uh, individual uh, modules as well. But let's move on to the generic questions. Now, what are master data, metadata, and transaction data? This is very important concept that, that everyone of us has to know. So, what is metadata? Metadata represents data about data. It provides information about the structure of data, database, database table objects, etc. For example, a back dictionary will provide information about the within the RDBMs. For understanding metadata, the easiest example that we can have is uh, if you consider a textbook, any of your textbooks, in the in the beginning of the textbook, you have contents. The contents give you the information about in which page, what chapter or what section of the uh, textbook is it. So here we're going to get the information of the entire book in the contents. That's kind of a metadata. So metadata actually gives information about other data. Master data. What exactly is master data? Master data is comprised of whatever an organization does and how it is differently defined over business units or competitors. It helps to establish a 360 degree business view. It consists of key business information such as customer information, materials, employee, etc. Yeah, so it, it, it helps to establish a 360 degree business view. It consists of key business information such as customer information, materials, employee, etc. This is similar to reference data. For example, if a customer orders 5 units of our products rather than 5 times asking the customer for shipping address, it can be referenced from the customer master data. Now, let's take an example of a particular uh, sales process. In a sales process, the materials that are being sold uh, are kind of a master data. Means our organizations might, might produce 250 types of materials. And these 250 materials are more or less constant. So they are not going to change on a, on a daily or a, on, on, a, on a hourly basis. But the people who purchase that products might be on a second basis, on a minute basis, or a, on, a, on a hour basis, or in a daily basis. So, if, uh, comparatively, the materials are not going to change as frequently as the sales details change. So, in this context, material details can be considered as master data, and uh, the, the the purchase details can be considered as a as a transaction data. 